All done. Spirulina. With Dominican cane juice should be better for it. How, how, how Gwen, as we, we started this discussion talking about the diversification that Dominica needed to do uh, so that we could make better sense of this, all of our economic problems and challenges going forward. You have pointed the nation's attention in a certain direction. What now needs to be done? I mean, so, so we could almost say you've done your work. You've presented a division of possibilities. How does the nation get on board with you on this to make it happen? If Dominica would like to join me, which I would hope that they do at some point, and you have been very wonderful with me through the Ministry of Agriculture, what we really need to do now is we need to see to it that one of our ally countries that have lab facilities that have been producing medications that have been in research for medicine for a very long time to join us. You all know them, you know people, you need to make contacts. My email is cartergwen.com. 2002 at yahoo.com. They can give me a, send me an email, send me referrals of corporations, of investors, of people who you know in the natural health industry, who you know in the beauty industry, who you know understand sulfur, who you know know that this island is the nature island. It was ordained by God to assist in the natural health of the world. South Africa has got to find an antidote for pregnant women. Uh, these antidotes that I'm working on are totally melanated compatible. Uh, Cuba for a long, is uh, mining spirulina for a long, now. They for a long time have been into natural health, uh, into medical development research. They have assisted you, in, uh, Dominica, in sending your students to medical school. So you know the people that know your land. They don't know me, but you know that I've been very sincere, hardworking, and honest. You need to let people know that I'm here doing this work again. Carter Gwen. 2002 at yahoo.com. You can contact me and people can come in. If you know countries that can handle this type of publishing distribution, introduce them to me because this is a book we want in everybody's hand. All right, uh, final phone call. Good evening. Carter Gwen, Steinberg Henry. How are you? <laughs> it is a pleasure, wonderful sister. Thinking of from the time this whole project started off to now, um, this is great television image, I must tell you, and um, it's good to, to wait on nature signature. The work is wonderful. Actually, I got home and found quite a bit of mango, so they're coming in already, so that is good news. <laughs> so thank you very much for the information that you're bringing us. Continue to do the work. We need to know it. We need to hear it. Have a good time. Thank you. Thanks, and Diane. one of the things that's so important that he brought up mangoes, and I'm really glad. One mango has 11,000 and and 90 IUs of vitamin A. That keeps the defense system, which you all call the immune 11, 000, system. 11,190? 11,090. 11,090. 11, so I had uh, six mangoes today, so I'm Whoa. up to like 66,540. Uh, That's wonderful. 66,540 so, IUs of, of, of vitamin, vitamin A, a. Which means yeah, that, you like know, you can go mangoes. out here right now and not catch <laughs> infections and viruses. That's what vitamin A does. So I suggest in this book that this year don't let the mangoes rot on the ground take them and preserve them. I realize we can't eat them all. And when you come to the sulfur spring, mangoes fall everywhere. Make sure you bathe your whole body with mangoes. The fruit acids, the sweetness of your personality after you bathe in those wonderful mangoes and that wonderful water. But yes, Stein, right on with the uh, mangoes because again, the Caribbean is leading in def uh, immune deficiency diseases. That's what that virus is, okay? so. Get on the foods. Nature Signature, again, will teach you the foods that once again heals the body and keeps it safe. We're out of time. Your final comments. Final comment. 
call Laricon Printers, all of you, next week and say to them, we want nature's signature release. It is not fair. We want our book. It is unethical. And again, I'd like to say to Mrs. Fingo in New York, you all call the New York Tourism Office and tell their sister, thank her very much. She was wonderful when I went back there for a three-week trip to uh, canvas and bring investors back here just before the 9-11 event. She rolled out the red carpet and we sent out wonderful tourism packages from that office in New York. So say thank you to Mrs. Fingo and to her son, Hilroy, who created the cover of the magazine and this wonderful t-shirt that I'm wearing. Thank you, Hilroy, and your mom. And Gordon, Aurelius Gordon, happy birthday. And thank you for your help on the book, Mr. Charles Pharmacy, your help on the book, and Mrs. Winston from Suki's, your help on the book. And thank you all. I love you dearly. All right, uh, you know, listen to all of what you heard in, in just a uh, space of about six seconds. You learned that Aurelius Gordon even had a birthday today. Gwen Carter, Holistic and Health Research. <laughs> the book uh, Nature's Signature will be out soon, we all hope. Now no, let's we thank know. We know. Oh, we've passed hope. If we have to print it elsewhere, yeah. we've passed hope. We're going to get it. Yes, we're yeah. going to get it. Gwen Carter, our guest for the last hour. And uh, this, as I promised you, is a fascinating journey. We will never be the same <laughs> tomorrow morning. Let's thank her for joining us, and let's thank you, too, for being here with us. We'll be back on Wednesday night. Of course, this program will be repeated on Monday evening from 8.30, and we'll be back with more live programming on Wednesday night at 8.30. As uh, we say, good night. The hero lies in you. Good night. Thanks, Gwen. Bye.